second tutorial for roadblocks. Yesterday we worked with the red box and the move modify block. Today I want to remind you that you should probably name every single thing you do with your name and what you are making. In this case you're going to be making, I don't know, some shape that moves. More than likely that's what you're going to do. All right, so we're going to try a cylinder today. So let's click and drag and let's move it because that's what we did yesterday. So you should be able to, to do that. I'm going to hit play because I want to see what it looks like here. All right. So based on this, the height is 20. So if I want to move it up, I need to go half of 20 in the Z direction, which is straight up and down. Don't forget the X is like somebody walking across and Y someone is running away from you and towards you. There you go. So let's change that to 10. And let's see, that is amazing. A tier, seriously, a tier. Today we're gonna to introduce scale. Now, scale is just gonna change the size of an object. So let me move this over here a little. So you're gonna change it in three possible directions. So let's look at the directions here. You could make this really wide or long going that way or going long, uh, taller or I guess it wouldn't be shorter if it's just growing in that direction. I don't know. Let's change this to five. And theoretically, it means that it's going to get wider in this direction. Let's run it. Wow. Genius level work here. Now let's change the color because I pretty much guess what it's going to do with this button or this block. It's going to change the color. I'm going to choose blue. I would like you to choose black to match my soul. Now I'm going to hit run. That's amazing. That is amazing. All right, so in your final project, I would like you to choose the roof. Give me two of each, not two moves, two scales, and two colors. Mix them up, but I at least want two of each because I want to see an entertaining movie. Speaking of, in the previous tutorial, did not explain the share button too well, so let's go ahead and try that again. There's your amazing object. Now, when I click animated GIF, my computer asks me where do I want to store it and what do I want to call it. Some computers will just save it for you in some random location and give it whatever name you gave originally to this thing, plus a little tiny carrot. I'll show you at the end what it looks like. But for mine, let's go ahead and press it. That is a beautiful movie. It's the ending that really gets to me. All right, so I'm saving to the desktop. It's named Bob shape that moves and I'm good. So now you get to see what some of you actually get. Now your job is to click on this carrot, click show on finder, and then drag this over to the center of a new email and it will show up there. Just drag it over there, drag it over and send it to me. I would appreciate it because then you would get your your lovely parting prize, which will be a quiz that is based, that will be used for your grade. So enjoy. I'm sure we're all going to appreciate that.